this is the Free Club Cascade. Hopefully a relaxed, easy going swing of the arms, a little flick of the wrist to spin the club from one side to the other. Let's just have a look at it with just one club. What's actually going on? I'm taking the club, I'm dropping it down and I'm flipping it over to the other side. Same thing here, I'm dropping it down, I'm going to swing my arm up, flip it over to the other side. What I want to emphasise in this video is you're not using your arm to throw the club. So I'm not throwing the club like this and swinging my arm up. I'm just swinging my arm from my elbow and then I'm almost tipping the club backwards with my thumb and just giving a little flick. So the club swings up and then flicks comes in hand. So just that little flick. Getting used to doing this right at the beginning is useful. You don't even have to go from side to side. Just try and hold the club and just see you can hold it out to the side a little bit if you like. If you're worried about hitting yourself. And you're just going to do this action here and see whether you can flip that club nice and easily. You've got to give it enough flick because if you don't, it's very hard to catch and you put it, turn your hand this way. If you give it too much, that's okay because you could catch it here, 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 or even here. So just that flip back like this. It's really worth trying this quite a lot on both hands. You're not worrying about throwing it from one side to the other. You're just flicking it across. And then you can try and combine that swing of the arms and that little flicking movement, pulling the thumb slightly downwards even, to get it to swing to the other side. Here I go and flick. Swing that. I'm, I'm turning around so you can kind of see how it's going, but I'm obviously going to be doing it like this. I'm throwing it so that it spins around my kind of shoulder height area, up around here somewhere, and the other one flips here. That's because if you're juggling all three clubs and you walk through the middle of this pattern, nothing hits you because the clubs will actually go over your shoulders. If you're not doing that, what happens is the clubs come forwards and everything's kind of in front of you, lifted up, and anything could come and hit you at any time with that, which is why I recommend this wide flicking type of motion. And also, if your arms are quite low when you're doing it, when you do your first tricks, there's plenty of space, the clubs have lots of space, and one of the first tricks people learn often is under the leg. And if I'm doing high juggling up here, and I've got to then reach down to go under my leg, it's a big effort. Whereas if I've got my clubs low down here, I'm just going to lift my leg up, drop my hand down a little bit, under the leg. And it's not interrupting the main body of juggling for the most part. So there it is. If you can up, even look at this, and isolate one club so that instead of looking at the whole busy three club pattern you could just watch the one the red club keep your eye on it and watch how slowly it goes one hand to the other and even I can slow the club pattern down with using what we call dwell time which is how long you're holding on to the object before you throw it again you won't have that much control at the beginning but here's a short dwell time the club's just whizzing through my hand really it's coming in going out coming in going out almost no time at all because if i go a little bit higher and a little bit slower there's more dwell time keep your eye on that red club one hand you watch how the other way the arms swing down give a little flip from one hand to the other club juggling is a brilliant thing to do and once you get your cascade tiny and comfortable you can start working on tricks that's another whole world good luck see you